Squacquerone. 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 Yeah, it's good. Today we will do a race preview uh, of In Imola while making one of my favorite uh, uh, piadina with crudo, squacquerone and rucola. So, have you ever raced in Imola? Yes, I've raced in F4 and I really enjoyed the track. My weekend was not amazing uh, from what I can remember. Uh, but yeah, I mean the track is really cool. I think the, the part I liked the most was uh, Sector 2 and, and also uh, start of Sector 3. I think was also the most challenging part of the, of the track. Yeah, no, I, uh, I agree also. I really like um, Tosa and I think it's called Villeneuve uh, in Sector 2 and then also Aqua Minerale yeah. is really nice. And also the, the chicane where you cut Variante Alta. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not easy to get it straight away, but uh, when you get it right, it's, uh, obviously it's a, it's a nice feeling. Yeah. And uh, I think for the races, it's, um, it's quite hard to overtake in the track because uh, obviously you have a lot of corners and not long straights, so it's quite challenging, but uh, I think it's a really cool track. Yeah, no, for, for me it was one of my favorites so far. Uh, I really enjoyed to drive. Um, and yeah, like you say, overtaking is not so easy, but just driving the track, also a Formula One track, um, so incredible to, to drive there. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool also, uh, if you look back at the history and you know all the great drivers that have raced there. So, yeah, I think it's, um, I mean, it's really cool to have an house inside the track. Um, you know, maybe sometimes it's not the best because of the noises all day. But uh, in my case, I would love to have an house in, inside the track, you know. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Like you say, like by Ravazza 1, I think is, uh, they can watch from, from home, they can watch the race. And even like, I mean, incredible, even just like, hey, the noise is not ideal, but be able to watch Formula One race and all that stuff from uh, from your living room, I think is pretty pretty incredible. Yeah, amazing. Harvey, you will see this year, uh, especially in uh, Italian tracks, uh, for example, Imola, Monza and Mugello, you will find a lot of fans, uh, especially in Imola. Uh, we had also a lot in Mugello, for example, last year, and uh, they're, really, they're really nice and uh, um, and yeah, they they will they will show you their happiness to be at the track and to see you. And um, yeah, I think they're really such a good supporter. And for sure, you will have a lot of stuff to sign uh, because uh, all the drivers last year had uh, a lot of work to do uh, okay. for the fans. Yeah. No, actually, last year what I did is uh, I brought some uh, crescentine from uh, Bologna, I, uh, and everyone really appreciate them and. Uh, Actually, it's something that probably I'll do this year. So you have to try them because it's a good special, a speciality of, um, of Bologna and, um, and it tastes really good. Maybe it's a bit heavy, you know, maybe you have to eat a bit before dinner because otherwise you will feel full, but uh, it's good taste, good taste. Crescentina is a kind of a fried bread and uh, normally you put uh, squacquerone or you put uh, ham or yeah, you do all. You put all this stuff and it really tastes really good. Ah, it tastes good, come on. <laughs> you can have another one if you want. <laughs> okay, I'll have two. <laughs> this uh, probably is gonna be my dinner. But um, yeah, tastes good. Piadina is always the best. Hashtag Piadina is the best. See you everyone in Himala. And hopefully you, you can try my Piedina and my Crescentina. Ciao. See you next time. See you.